Hey y'all, welcome to Toadstead. Alright, today I guess this will be chicken coop number, I don't know, maybe it's five? Four, I don't remember. But let's take a look inside. And, uh, yeah. One of the problems is this door. And what I'm curious, what I'm worried about, or concerned I should say, is that if you, something hits right here, see how it bends? So I want to need to put something there to keep that door from bending in. And also, as the coop settles, as the land starts to move around, time goes by, I want to make it so that I can open that door for a good long time. So we're going to do something about this threshold area. So let's see how this works out. Okay, well there's my little door stop. Now when we close it up. Nice and solid. You can see I got this dug out. Now we'll find something better to put in there. And what we have here is some of the clay gravel uh, left over from when we put in the culvert. And this will be a much better medium to have, I think, than just a, I don't know if you can see how black and rich that soil is. And while grass will eventually grow up through this stuff, it's a lot more difficult, it's a lot harder. Once it packs down, it's it's pretty tough. And I think that'll be better. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and shovel that in there. All right, well, they got it all tamped down. Eh, not bad looking. But more importantly, let's take a peek inside here. There's that stop. And the door closes right tight up against it. So even though the dirt here is a, oh, maybe an inch, gives the door, gives the door about an inch of swing space. As this ground settles, or as the coop settles, It'll take quite a while before it uh, becomes a problem. And if something gets up against here, as you can see, it ain't going anywhere. All right, so chicken coop threshold. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for coming along for the ride. See you next time around.